Hi there, Leo. Welcome back. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Leo placements in their charts. Make sure you all flip and you switch the rows, take the resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation, guys. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, your donations, and your super chats, your super things. The love never goes unnoticed, and I am returning that back to you all tenfold. Okay, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box, and please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms, okay? So let's see, Leo. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Leo and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones returning back to the sender, blocking the interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. <clears throat> Clear, concise, and precise messages from my Leo collective and protect me as I channel the messages for Leo. Let's see. What's going on? Okay, Nine of Cups. Uh oh. Okay, hold on, Leo. I'm sorry. I was looking at my table like I need to move some of these decks. <laughs> okay, Leo. Okay, look. The Nine of Cups right here, King of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Fool, the Six of Cups, and the Empress. Some of y'all can already have a baby with this. Whoever this is right here, y'all going to end up pregnant. Y'all going to end up pregnant. Okay, that's not for every damn body. Yeah, no protection <laughs> with the damn nine of one That's what I just got. This because the nine of cups could be a pregnancy announcement or an engagement announcement. It could be both, right? But I just see a pregnancy. Now, some of y'all could be taking action towards like a gift that you have. Like, there's a gift <laughs> you could be getting ready to um uh go towards a new creative endeavor. But I just see somebody being like, fuck it. You mine anyway. They, some of y'all get ready to have a child. You're very fertile. Six of cups with the damn empress. Oh, now, this ain't going to be for every damn body. But this person, they th this person, they want to do it to you. Whoever this is. <laughs> it could be Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, a Pisces. Or Gemini, Libra, Praise, or whatever, child. Oh, okay. Let's see what else. <laughs> what else for Leo Spirit? What else for Leo? The Eight of Swords. Okay, the Eight of Swords. Different energy. So, um. So, there's something here about peer. I said peer. But I meant to say fear. Somebody name could be Pierre, but um, fear, paranoia, or this could be like I don't know. This could be somebody self sabotaging. What what else? With the Eight of Swords here, Gemini, Jupiter. Okay, we got the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn, Mars here. Okay, and the Two of Cups reverse. Hmm. Oh. For some of you, there could be something here about an abusive connection that you were in, Leo, where you're coming out of it, but you're, I feel like you're coming out of it slowly but surely, but you're being tested as you move forward away from this here. Um, like your mind could be playing tricks on you or you could be um in this state of fear, maybe that maybe you're going to go through this again, but I don't feel like you are. Three of Pentacles is you learning from your past mistakes. Somebody feels like they still have control over you. There could be needing to, there could be something that you're needing to change about your mindset about this partnership. For some of you, there's a collaboration or something that could be coming in where you're being guided to work with a particular person, but you could be having flashbacks or memories of a relationship that was abusive or toxic in a way. Or somebody else could be tripping about this damn partnership. Yeah, the queen. Okay, yeah, the queen of swords reverse. Somebody is speaking a lot of negativity over your life here. It's like somebody who wants you to be reminded of them or reminded of a past situation that kept you stuck or something like that. Somebody here could be verbally abusing someone. 
could be a Gemini here, a Gemini, a losing asshole. Gemini, the Queen of Swords is in the reverse. This person is very bitter or very overly critical. Or you could be overly criticizing yourself. You could be criticizing yourself here harshly, Leo. You could have Gemini on your chart somewhere. Maybe you're being too hard on yourself about something. But we're going to see. The King of Wands. <clears throat> yeah, King of Wands under the Three of Pentacles. Somebody here could be suicidal. Trigger warning. This person beats themselves up a lot. They could be overly criticizing themselves. Very bitter. Very mean-spirited. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Like... So, we... So, okay. We have the Ace of Pentacles under the Two of Cups reverse. The Sun. The Five of Swords. <clears throat> So for some of you right now, you could have, okay, this could be a Leo masculine I'm talking to that's dealing with a an abusive ass mother figure or their baby mama. Um, you and somebody, you know that you and someone here are incompatible, but I feel like this person, for some of you, you don't want to see somebody hit rock bottom. You know, if you leave them and take your finances and shit like that away, they're going to, they're going to like be looking crazy. You know that they're going to be stuck. But I feel like they talk to you any kind of way, though. This is a very nasty, loudmouth hoe. And I feel like if they knew better, they would fucking do better. If they want help, they need to sit the fuck down somewhere and stop fucking taking people for granted. Don't bite the hand that feeds your ass is what I'm getting here. Like, some of y'all are breaking up with somebody and you're going towards new. Ace of Pentacles. Like, you're going towards something new or someone else. That's solid, stable, and secure. And I got their mind right. This person is tripping. The Empress Reverse. I'm so sick of seeing this hoe. Like, what's the Eight of Swords? <laughs> Two of Swords, yeah, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, lack of abundance here. Ten of Pentacles reverse. This could be fighting and shit about money, finances, and shit. Okay. Somebody here could be giving you the wrong advice here. Someone could be trying to give you the wrong advice here or trying to piss you off to the point where your ass could potentially go to jail. Someone could be giving you advice about money laundering or doing something illegal for money. Somebody is trying to set somebody up here to stop them from going towards a new financial opportunity or a new connection somewhere. This 10 of Pentacles in the reverse could be, this could be somebody obviously in your family, Leo. Uh, okay, somebody here could be trying to also steal someone's inheritance. Hmm. That's crazy. Uh, for some of you, okay, I'm getting a lot. For some of you, there's a mother figure here that passed away. There's a mother figure here that passed away and you guys are supposed to be receiving some sort of inheritance money. And I feel like somebody is trying to stay stuck to you before, like, so that way they can receive what you're getting ready to receive, Leo. Is what I'm getting. Like, I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff. Two of Swords, Libra Moon, Virgo, Mercury, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Someone is trying to keep someone's heart chakra blocked or keep someone like stuck so that way they won't receive something and they will receive it. Or somebody's like trying to take somebody out for some, some money or something like that. Yeah, look, the Queen of Cups reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here is a fucking clown. Somebody's getting ready to be wealthy. This could be you, King of Wands. You upright. What's the Two of Swords? Yeah, the Three of Pentacles again. Somebody is trying to block you from sharing your wealth and and whatever with your with a with a person you're supposed to be working with. 
this could be for some of you. You could be working with a team of lawyers, judges, things like that or whatever to get something straightened out with your finances. But what's with your inheritance money? <laughs> but what's the, or somebody's trying to block someone from their gifts to stop them from actually using their gifts to create wealth and abundance in this lifetime. But what's the two of swords with the three of pentacles? Yeah, the ace of cups reverse. Yeah, so, something here. This shit right here is unrequited love. Ace of cups in the reverse. Excuse me, this is unrequited love here. This could be definitely for sure a breakup. For some of you, your guys and your ancestors are working heavily to protect you. This could be somebody too that passed away that's around you right now that's helping you to move away from this mess, whatever the fuck this is. Ace of Cups in reverse is a lot of repressed feelings and emotions. This could be also a repressed gift. Somebody's trying to block someone's gifts. So you won't be able to go into a partnership. Or you won't be a team player in a partnership to stop you from committing to something. If your money fucked up, you, I mean, you can't really commit to anything, right? Uh, you know. But... This, this Ace of Cups in the reverse, though, is a cancer celebration. Like, somebody here really... This could be, too, a divorce or somebody trying to prolong. <sighs> Somebody's a loser. Like, they just... Child of Magician reverse and the High Priestess reverse. What the fuck? <clears throat> What the fuck is this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse? This person's sacral chakra is blocked. This Queen of Swords in reverse, they can't create anything. They can't manifest. And this person... Yeah, Five of Wands reverse. What's Ten of Pentacles reverse? Five of Wands reverse. Six of Wands reverse and the Judgment upright. <laughs> yeah, so somebody here failed at something for sure. Ten of Pentacles reverse is somebody that tried to fake their wealth. Somebody here is a loser. This is a whole damn smear campaign or a mob of people that got ill intentions towards you. Probably Divine Masculine with the King of Wands. Somebody here is awakening to a whole group of people or people in their family that was trying to steal their damn inheritance money. This could be too from somebody that passed away too. Somebody left your name on a will. And your family work with your karmic ex to stop you from going towards getting this money. Yeah, and being self-sufficient. Yes, yeah, so a child, so you can go be with your nine of pentacles. Somebody that matches your... Like, you're not supposed to be sitting up here broke. If you've been broke, you're not supposed to be. But I feel like this could be you free. You could be a very successful businessman that could be linking up with a very successful businesswoman. Okay, somebody here really wanted you to stop going towards this person. They don't want you to have enough money to share with your person. That's crazy. So this judgment reverse here, somebody could be losing a court, I mean upright. Somebody's losing a court case. There's a lot of instability here. This could be a real bad divorce where somebody losing hella shit, hella money. Somebody could be going to jail too for money laundering or doing something here or for robbing somebody. Maybe spiritually or in the physical. But this general reverse is somebody going towards their purpose and going through an awakening. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Hierophant. The Hierophant to the sun. I feel like this is a strong masculine energy I'm feeling. This is a divine masculine. What's this Three of Pentacles? Somebody here trying to confuse you about which way to go about a partnership. What a loser. What's Three of Pentacles? What's this one? Okay, damn. Yeah, look, the Hermit Reverse and the Empress in the Reverse. What's these two? Five of Cups and the damn Page of Wands. So somebody is sad because someone else is going towards or have new exciting plans. But this Empress in the reverse, bro, they are so fucking... I'm so sick of this bitch. They've been coming out all day, but they lose her ass. Whoever this baby mama is of yours, Divine Masculine, I'm so sick of this hoe. I, you probably sick of their ass, too. I'm sick of seeing them, though. They getting on my nerves. Real shit.
Three of Pentacles, both here though. You guys will be seeing three, 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 or thirty-three could be significant. Both you and your person learn from y'all past mistakes. You and this person, I feel like, are on the same page. But the Hermit reverse, somebody here is paranoid. They scared, they paranoid, or whatever the fuck this is. Hmm. What's this Empress Reverse? Four of Cups Reverse and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're seizing an opportunity, and that opportunity is you getting away from this hoe. The first, as soon as you get a glance of you being able to get away, you're leaving. <laughs> I feel like you're on, you're you're moving away. You see the bigger picture of a situation. <laughs> For some of you, there could be an unexpected pregnancy. Okay, but or you're leaving this person because they got pregnant on you. You, you could be finding out a child natural words. That just came off for Gemini. We do have a Gemini hole here. Maybe go watch Gemini. But somebody's just very insecure. Somebody's very insecure. I feel like you're walking away from this person and they just, I mean, they're just here. What the fuck is a hermit reverse? Yeah, the fool. Yeah, you're coming out of hermit mode and you're taking action. You're moving forward. Like, what's the hermit reverse with the fool? Aquarius energy. Yeah, the Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah, King of Wands. This shit is over with for you. You're overcoming the, the toxicity and the, the gossiping, the slander, and them trying to beat you down with words and shit like that to, to emasculate you and shit. I feel like you don't give a fuck about this hoe. <laughs> like, you're leaving they ass behind. Somebody here, I'm just, I just, I don't know. I'm real sick of them, though, for sure. Yeah, you're surrendering the fuck out of this situation. <laughs> so you're overcoming a betrayal here. I feel like somebody here is scared too because the worst is yet to come for their ass. Somebody here, you could be being vindicated from something. Leo, there's something that you're being vindicated from. Like, uh, if there was somebody here falsely accusing you of shit, yeah, I feel like you're being vindicated. You're being seen as the innocent one here. Yeah, four of wands reverse. What's this two of cups reverse? Your guys are really working close to you. Somebody here worked or conjured up something too to block you. Your guys are stepping in to protect you from this mess. It's like your guys, your ancestors is battling with some dark shit. Yeah, we got the Page of Pentacles upright, wow, and the and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got the Queen of Swords in the reverse. This Queen of Swords right here could be your person. That's guiding you into more money opportunities too. This person could be a tarot reader. Okay, or they do something in divination. Uh, this person could have could have called on their guides to knock this bitch down and they they raggedy ass ancestors that they working with. They somebody could work with like dark ancestors or they they work with dark spirits or something like that. Yeah, so there is something that you're communicating or you're calling out. This could be about a child. Yeah, and whatever you're saying is causing you to break up with this with this empress in the, in the reverse. Mm -hmm. What's the Page of Pentacles? There could be... What's Page of Pentacles? Yeah, a plan, a plan to, to, to um, build on a solid foundation. I feel like you're taking advice from this actual queen of this this good queen of swords yeah the moon reverse yeah you're realizing who your real friends are and who your real person is for some of you 
because you've been working with somebody here probably just maybe it could have been just financially but this person never gave a fuck about you for real it's the cups reverse it's unrequited love they don't give a fuck about you they've been keeping you stuck to their slow ass so that way they can steal your inheritance money or so that way they can um use you for sex and manifest off your sexual energy like a fucking clown yeah the moon reverse with the page of pentacles here that's like moving away from fear anxiety stress worry doubt whatever but this is definitely something being revealed through a reading something is being revealed through a tarot reading what's the queen of swords here yeah the hangman yeah so your perspective is shifting somebody's perspective is shifting here about you or this is you shifting your perspective about your about this queen of swords Somebody is having a deep realization and making sacrifices. So this person here, for some of you, this this or this is you, King of Wands, you're listening to this Queen of Swords advice. Yeah, you changed this whole person's perspective or they changed yours. What's this Queen of Swords reverse? <laughs> Pisces energy. Yeah, Four of Wands reverse. This is helping you to break free of this karmic contract with them. This could have been even just like, you know, you working with this person or building, trying to build something solid with this person to say y'all can make money together. And this bitch over here trying to like use you and shit. I bet they don't do a fucking thing. They're not even fertile. They, they can't even make anything. They can't do anything. Queen of Swords reverse. They can't create shit. They can't create nothing. I feel like this person, they talk nasty to you any fucking way. Very bitter, nasty individual. So the four, yeah, look at that. High priestess reverse. So the four of wands reverse is a lack of support. Yeah, this person don't support your plans. They don't support anything that you do. This could be you where you've jilted a situation like you all of a sudden decided to leave a home or a community. But I feel like you feel that you don't fit in with them anymore and you don't. Or this is like somebody in your family, a close, I don't know who the fuck they are. What's the queen of swords reverse, four of wands reverse? Yeah, the seven of swords. Yeah, so this could be you possibly keeping your moods silent into yourself here. Yeah, you're leaving some shit behind, man. You ain't fucking with it. Or somebody in your family here that secretly doesn't support you. Somebody you got kids with that secretly doesn't support you here. Somebody here, too, is being messy as fuck in a community. Somebody is gossiping or lying. Just a whole bunch of dumb shit. What's the four of wands reverse? Yeah, six of cups. A lot of dysfunction, fighting and shit going on in a home as well, around children. Like, what's the four of wands reverse with the six of cups? This how it reverse. Hmm. Something inevitable is going to come out here about a child. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is an inevitable two reunion. The, for some of you, you could be like reconciling with somebody from your past. It's probably this Queen of Swords up here that maybe you doubted before in the past, but these people they you're realizing that these people around you or this person don't support y'all both in a connection and i but i feel like this was inevitably going to come out because you were inevitably going to reunite with somebody that you're meant to be reunited with whether y'all just friends or whatever the fuck they're like somebody here really tried to avoid a tower or they try to stop something from happening between you and them or stop something you and your person or stop something from coming out about they ass What's the damn seven of swords? Get yeah, a justice. What's the seven of swords justice? The eight of wands, child, the magician reverse. <laughs> This bitch sat up here and orchestrated a whole community of hoes. And then here's your karmic ex, Divine Feminine. What a weak-ass, punk-ass hoe. I'm just so irritated with these people, bro. They have really gotten on my last damn nerves. Yeah, there's somebody that, that's around you. Or for some of you, you, don't need, you haven't even been with your ex in, the, in a long-ass time. 
this person here This person just worked with a whole bunch of other people to do something. That's just, just dumb. And then they're trying to run and hide too. With they, I can't stand cowards. I'm so sick of seeing these cowardly assholes. I feel like you could be running to the damn courthouse. That's where the fuck you're going. For some of you seven or so with the justice, you're going to sneak and get some court orders going on here. Uh, or a subpoena or something like that. And somebody's trying, somebody could be trying to do justice magic here. Uh, there could be someone too. There could be somebody in your family, divine masculine, or somebody that you got kids with that you're trying to get away from. This bitch is going to somebody here that works in law enforcement, but they're corrupt. The emperor reverse, king of swords reverse, and the six of pentacles reverse. Or somebody could be paying someone that's in a cult to do magic here to stop something from happening in a court case. And I feel like you're getting good news. You're getting good news. And this person is steady. Like, I feel like this person trying to, yeah, they're trying to manipulate the energy so they can get good news about a child, custody of a child. Or if this is a nasty divorce, they want money from you or something like that. Girl, get your, what's the, what's the, <laughs> what's the magician reverse? Some of y'all are just moving uh, forward very quickly and karma is balancing out. Things are balancing out for you. Somebody's steady trying to do magic or trying to manipulate some shit with a loser ass. What's the magician reverse? You're keeping your plans and shit to yourself. Yeah, the, the, the king of pentacles. What's the magician reverse with the king of pentacles? Yeah, with the fortune in the reverse. Somebody here trying to slow you down with a losing bitch ass. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, somebody trying to slow you down with magic. This is like opposing forces here. External forces. Somebody trying to slow you down or stop you from going towards whatever you're planning to do. Knight of Pentacles is someone that's um hardworking. <laughs> and now they're trying to hide bitch we know what the fuck you did what's this what's the what's the king of wands <laughs> yeah the ace of swords in reverse what's the king of wands ace of swords reverse three of cups reverse hmm, yeah a whole bunch of gossip a, a lot of it this is a lot of animosity hostility fights and arguing Somebody here overindulges in gossip. Like, this is just a lot of fucking gossip here. I'm telling you. I just, I don't know what's wrong with these hoes, man. I just know somebody here made the wrong decision doing that shit. Three of Cups reverse. Somebody here is, is seeing that they made the wrong decision in something or because they didn't have clarity about this damn third party that was gossiping. But this Three of Cups in the reverse... Yeah, somebody here is is like um a snake that's in your friend group. And I feel like you're cutting all these hoes off now. You're taking action to cut everybody off. You see that everybody involved or everybody that you was communicating with or whatever, I feel like you stopped communicating with them. Because there was an op here that was going back to somebody telling them shit. Yeah, like, it could be, it could be this third, it could be your ex for some of you. Like, that... They could still be friends or close to somebody in your family after y'all have separated probably for years. They still talk to somebody in your family dynamic and your family here could be pretending to be your friend or be cool with you and be cool with you. It's like somebody playing both sides. Somebody playing both sides in a situation. Hold on, give me a second.
All right, my bad. So yeah, let me see. What's the three cups reverse? Cancer, Mercury. Yeah, look at this. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> mm. Yeah. This could be somebody you went into business with here with this King of Pentacles reverse. Somebody here has really went digging. They went and go to go find people that you affiliate with, people that you're friend. Like it, I'm just so this is some scandalous ass shit. What's this? Um, this is somebody here that exploited your energy to a group of people too. I feel like I'm talking to a divine feminine now because they try to convince this divine masculine that you ain't shit, and that's not true. You are everything, and that's why they own your dick like that. It was the three cups reverse and the king of pentacles reverse. Yeah, nine of swords reverse. Now they ass is in deep, deep regret for what they did. Yeah, because they're a fucking liar. King of Pentacles in the reverse and the nine of swords reverse. It's somebody here that's depressed. They ass is being haunted by their actions. It's like they're being haunted by their actions here. This person could be losing friends. Or this, I don't know, Divine Madison. This could be a best friend of yours or something like that. I don't know. Flip the rose, put yourself where you belong. But. What's the Ace of Swords reverse? <laughs> Something here failed. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. What's the Ace of Swords reverse, Ten of Cups? King of Wands again. Yep. This King of Wands is going after what they what they want. This Queen of Swords in reverse. <laughs> it's somehow your ex here has gotten a hold of somebody of your Divine Feminine's ex or something like that. And I feel like your Divine, this Queen of Swords up here is the one exposing everything through readings. Somebody here could be a reader. You could be a reader, Leo. You could have Gemini in your chart or whatever. But something is exposing these clowns and the connect between a bunch of motherfuckers. People in your family, your friends, whatever. But it's helping you to disconnect from their clown ass so you can move on. Yeah, and I feel like <laughs> these hoes now are probably targeting this divine feminine. They mad as hell at this person. Somebody now is realizing who they're supposed to be starting a family with, going towards, marrying. This is somebody, too, that's um, happy and whole and complete within themselves. So whatever this is, where somebody's trying to curse somebody out or say nasty shit to somebody or make them feel bad, I feel like it's not working, bitch. It's not working, so you can shut up now. Yeah. High Priestess reverse with the damn Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody could have said that you was a dark witch. They tried to ruin your reputation and said that you was a dark witch. For some of you, somebody is trying to... Cause you to lack focus here with whatever you do for work. Because whatever you're doing for work is exposing a ass. <laughs> What's the Ace of Pentacles? Y'all bitches some losers and y'all some pussy ass hoes online doing every fucking thing. You weak ass bitches. Seven of Cups. What's the Ace of Pentacles here with the Seven of Cups? For some of you, yeah, I was getting ready to say, some of you guys could have a lot of other opportunities. I feel like you passed some sort of test, Leo. You did what you were supposed to be doing when it comes down to awakening this King of Wands. You awakened them with something that you're doing. So now I feel like you're leveling up into a new phase of your journey. Okay, some of you guys are going from tarot reader to something else. Or you're still going to be a tarot reader, but it's time for you to explore new opportunities. It's like every time you pass the test, you level up with something. I feel like there's a big money opportunity coming in that you need to hone in on. You have this idea that I feel like you need to work through. I feel like you have, might have to make a major decision or a major choice between two career paths. Uh, yeah, let me see. What's the Seven of Cups? Yeah, look, Nine of Pentacles and the damn King of Swords reverse. <laughs> So we have this King of Swords reverse and there's this, your karmic ex divine feminine is attacking you and the karmic ex of your divine masculine is attacking you. They're attacking both. They're attacking your business, your money, because they feel like this got them caught up. 
So they're attacking you. They're attacking your money, your business, whatever this is you do. Because it helped awaken this King of Wands. <laughs> What's the Page of Wands? The Chariot. What's Page of Wands? Chariot. Seven of Wands reverse. You guys have been saying seven, 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 seven of Pentacles reverse here. Hmm. Yeah, something is unblocked for you here. And I feel like you're moving forward with determination, drive, willpower. This is like victory, success, triumphing. This would be travel. So you could have some sort of travel plans here. But um, let me see. What's the seven of wands in reverse? 411 is on the clock the world what's seven of wands reverse with the world the emperor yeah You're, there's a new beginning here with your divine masculine somebody else feels weak as fuck they feel weak or somebody's just there could be somebody around you that's failing to like compromise or whatever but i feel like the seven of wands is this divine masculine surrendering something Somebody's like admitting defeat. <laughs> Somebody here could be, definitely could be traveling. Some of you guys, you could be in your masculine energy as a, as a divine feminine, as a, a woman. You could be needing to stand up for what you believe in here. Some of you guys have power to change the world. Something about a business too could be going global, worldwide. You could become be becoming a boss, a CEO, a manager of something, or this is you owning your own business. Some of you guys are trying to start a business here or do something different with your business. This is going to take a lot of focus, hard work, and discipline here. So you need to stay grounded and just keep moving forward. But... Let me see something. so fucking annoying like four crusaders on the clock yeah this is your divine masculine it's a da status dating a powerful person you should not cross best strip clubs in the usa dating giving all their money to strippers and protection needed somebody here really is trying to make you seem like you a hoe or some shit like or like or like this person ain't meant for for you or you not meant for a particular person because you was a dancer or what yeah what they down low stupid ass it's like bitch please what the fuck what, what's this here somebody here getting on my they getting on my nerves leo yeah side chick or do drama what else <laughs> and that's definitely not you <laughs> so or i mean shit, i don't know it could be a karmic leo i'm talking about Flip the rose. Remembering the past. Parent, I like this person for you. <laughs> Somebody's parents is convinced that a karmic bitch here is a good person. They're not. They're not. What side chick or dude drama? 
feeling trapped. <laughs> Use your intuition. Yeah, reverse. Somebody here, somebody has been listening to the opinions of their, of their parents or people. Yeah, it's like an older mother figure. There's an older older mother figure here that gave that gave someone bad advice. Or this could be like your ex's mother. Your ex's mother here gave, it's like, I don't know, it's a weird connection that I'm put, picking, pulling in here. Somebody's, first of all, somebody's baby mama, they raggedy, and so is they mama. They both work together to try to bind this mask onto them. Yeah, basically, that's what it is. That's what the fuck it is. This bitter ass old hoe. This is somebody, this is like a mother and daughter duo. For some of you, um, there could be a masculine that lost his mother, and they were close to their ex's mother, and their ex's mother was a bitch. But they didn't know that because they had this person's intuition blocked. They couldn't use their intuition because it was blocked. Yeah, something like that. And now this, this karmic mother, this stupid bitch right here, and this losing hoe is attacking this queen of swords upright. Because they're telling on their ass. What's remembering the past here? Yeah, unexpected pregnancy. That shit came out like that for uh, Gemini. Unexpected pregnancy and social media hack reversed. Yeah, look, conversation with the homies. And then we have clearing out their messages before they come home. Mm-hmm. Child, what the fuck, man? Remembering the past, unexpected pregnancy, social media. Somebody keeps on remind. Somebody keeps on reminding something, reminding someone about the past, about children and how happy they were when they had. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like somebody's getting bad advice from a, a mother figure or a father figure about a karmic relationship that they need to be out of. Like what the fuck? What's parents? Of course they like them for you because what they what's parents? I like this person for you. Yeah, yeah, it's this divine mess, and they're coming back out again with they fine ass. Somebody, this king of wands fine as fuck. But it's a status, dating a powerful person you should not cross. And then we have conflict. They felt like you pointed fingers at them for everything. Yeah, like, what the fuck? This divine mess has been going through it, but I feel like they haven't been speaking up about their problems in the relationship or in a past relationship with this comic because they don't want to look less of a man. But I feel like they 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 keep they keep being in conflict here with a comic feminine. And these bitches trying to make this masculine marry their ass or get back with them or whatever this is. Fuck no. They did that shit on purpose though because they knew this masculine got status or power. What else? And they had some dark magic and shit like that too with their weird ass. And then trying to talk shit about this queen of swords that do... Uh, yeah, that's what this was, man. They trying to talk shit about this Queen of Swords that do readings, but they sitting behind the scenes doing black magic the whole damn time to this masculine to block they to block their vision. <laughs> Hypocritical assholes. What else? Third party. Yeah. Medical record. I feel like I should use protection with you. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that's probably when things fell off between you and this masculine. Listen, because this person thought they could follow the advice of an older feminine or their ex. I don't know. Maybe they could have still been in, like, uh, in communication with their ex and they thought they can trust them and shit like that because they didn't come off like a bitch. But it says, sis, I see him being nice and affectionate to other people, but not to you. I have a problem with that, period. <laughs> that came out reverse. So this masculine was being affectionate and nice to you? Or, let me see. What's the third party? Mm 
my body, my rules, my decision. Hmm, what's third party? Somebody here, somebody, mama too, was lying about a pregnancy for their daughter. They know their daughter as a hoe. And they running around, baby is not even just masculine and they lied about it. It's a disappointment, no effort to go out and have fun. And I, I waited for you for years. Time has passed and I'm no longer waiting for you to leave him or her, no fucks given. So, yeah, I feel like that's when you and this masculine kind of like left, broke up, broke things off or kind of like things dissipated a little bit between you and them because somebody here is just a jealous hoe. What's medical? Yeah, and then the gossip and slander and some shit that they were saying about you. What's medical record? I feel like I should use protection. Forgiveness. Yeah, reverse. What's medical record with forgiveness reverse? Yeah, freedom. Yeah, you were free. And somebody who was being resentful, they didn't forgive you for leaving their ass behind. So they came up with a plan and all that to get you back or your masculine. It's like, what's, what's this? I see him being a, being nice and affectionate, blah, blah, blah. Your worth, your worth every mile between us. And yeah, that's when you and your person were separated. And this person tried to make it seem like, oh, that you were jealous or you were trying to break them up. Or you were trying to, bitch, don't nobody even know you. You don't know me. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Somebody here really tried, they framed this masculine. They try to make this masculine feel crazy for, you know what I'm saying, wanting to be with you and shit like that. And trying to convince them that you was the problem when it was they, them and they slow ass mama. Bitch, I'm talking about you. <laughs> if you're watching, I know you hoes like to at attack my channel, bitch. I'm talking about you. <laughs> Period. What else? You and your tired ass, raggedy ass, bitter ass mama. Yeah, happily married. Child outside the relationship or marriage. The fuck you mean? An instant karma. That shit came out. Go watch Gemini reading, bro. I'm telling you. I am telling you, bro. This is why these this two of cups is in the reverse. That's a breakup. That's a breakup. What's happily married? Somebody here dealing with a whole cheating ass hoe. But they mama like, oh, yeah, that's my daughter. Or that's my, a bitch, your daughter's a hoe. And so are you. They follow one of your raggedy ass footsteps. Who's happily married? Or oh, however the shit is going. Flip the damn rolls. <laughs> Flip the, yeah, it said maybe it won't work out. May, but maybe seeing if it does will be the best adventure ever. What's happily married? Child, public eye, social media beef. Yeah, somebody here, bro. I'm telling you. That is insane. What's child outside of the bear? So somebody here convinced this masculine to go back with this karmic feminine or they convinced themselves because they thought a child was theirs. They thought a child was theirs. And it's not. What's child outside the marriage? Bitch, instant karma. Instant. Yeah, seeking psychics here. <laughs> yeah, somebody getting a yeah, work relationship. And then we have health. Somebody could be a healthcare provider. Or somebody could be in healthcare. You could be a healer with seeking psychics and health. Yeah, so you you expose this bitch here that is cheating on this divine masculine. You expose them through a reading. Yeah. <laughs> What's this health? About this damn child not being theirs. I feel like this masculine kind of like they, they was, their intuition was telling them that, but they just couldn't see clear. What's health? Yeah, marry me. What's health with marry me? X keeps coming in between you, in between your relationship. Yeah, it's this hoe. What else? Successful single parent, whack child or children don't like your partner. <laughs> what else? Job offer, dodging bullets. Yeah, then we have health problems. 
Somebody's a hoe. I, like, somebody, I don't know what the fuck somebody... What's, what's going on? This could be this mama health. They mama... It's like, bitch, you old as fuck. You need to go take care of yourself. And stop trying to fight your daughter's battles with her hoe ass. Somebody's a loser, bro. I, I swear. I feel like this is a masculine that don't really have support or help from their family. And they rely on their ex's family to love on them properly. These are some hoe ass losing bitches that you should be getting away from, divine masculine. I feel like I'm talking to a man. I'm talking to a man dealing with hoes. What's the successful single parent? Somebody here saying that you whack or... Yeah, we got ancestors. Yeah, yeah, that, that's you. You're a successful single parent. You're doing everything on your own here. For some of you, you are because the, your your karmic ex is the king of pentacles probably in the reverse. They ain't doing shit and they participate. This is a hoe. They out here doing whatever the fuck they want to do. They sitting in regret for their nasty ass ways and actions. Like, what the fuck? What, what's ancestors here with successful single parent? Equal give and take relationship. Yeah, somebody that will give you the world. Yeah, family member. You are stronger than, than you know, and I have your back. <laughs> okay, I don't know who that is. What's a family member? <laughs> yeah, older woman, younger man relationship. What's family member? turned off by you because you allow other people or family in our personal business these people are some gaslighting hoes they really try to flip this shit and make it seem like you was trying to chase this masculine or trying to stop them from blah, blah. but i feel like it's this karmic feminine bitch that convinced their family that you was doing something to them to try to whoever this is that really did this shit it's just so fucking retarded like somebody this is some whack ass shit what is whack what is that I play I play songs that remind me of you. What's whack here? <laughs> Child, twin flame. Someone has or will have twins. Child, I'm telling you, bro. You and this person have a very strong telepathic connection. And somebody here try to convince their children not to like you. For some of you, you've been around this, this, your divine masculine's kids and they adore you. <laughs> like they love the fuck out of you. Loser assholes. What job offer? Narcissist. What job offer with narcissist? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Somebody here trying to offer somebody a job or offer them money. They're like, no. The fuck? As soon as you tell this bitch no, they get mad. For some of you... This divine masculine's child doesn't like the new partner of their karmic feminine. Child or children don't like your partner. <laughs> Whatever, man. What else? Child, yeah, loss of a child or family member through natural death or through the actions of someone else. Abduction, gang violence, social media, bullying, gender, hate, racism, and suicide. For some of you, this masculine did lose a, a family member. They did lose a family member or they lost someone. They lost a mother for some of you. What, what else? But they did lose a child for some of you as well because um, a child ain't theirs. Yeah, we have marry me again. Then we have best strip clubs in the USA. They didn't give all their money to strippers. <laughs> Somebody, let me see. What's loss of a child, bro? Emotionally immature man, boy. They refuse to grow up, make promises. They know they don't plan to plan on keeping. Still at home with their parents. For some of you, this is karmic masculine right here. Child, let me see what else for loss of a child. Here we go, child. Spine. Let's marry me. <laughs> yeah, considering adoption. Let's marry me here. <laughs> it's coming out again. Somebody don't want their children around you or, yeah, sexual addictions. Child, please. What's best strip clubs in the USA? <laughs> someone's trying to ruin your... Yeah, someone's trying to ruin your reputation. He's about that life, but damn, he's fun. Bestie, know your worth. You deserve better. <laughs> what the fuck? Player in the same sex relationship. Separation. This is a mess. Oh, 
somewhere here, no, these, these hoes, these common idiots, man or woman, they know that they're getting ready to lose that family to somebody else. Your child, somebody here is getting ready to get married and their child is definitely going to be around the person that they married to. They know that. But it's like, bitch, well, you should have did better. You shouldn't be running around like a damn loser. Then you wouldn't be worried. You wouldn't have to worry about that. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I feel like this shit is old. Y'all bitches need to... It takes a village to raise kids. You need to be happy that somebody love your kids. Dumbass. But it say justice. Falsely accused. Exactly. I will not be a victim of your character assassination. I know what and who I am and what I stand for. I will not be moved. And that's just fucking period. What else? Tower moment. Yeah, child, when God moves people out your life, let them go. And lost you to someone else. Yeah, they sure did lose you to someone else. They sure the fuck did. What's justice here? Falsely accused. Falsely seeking. Yeah, somebody going to tarot readers and all that or whatever this is. Or somebody here said that you was dark. Yeah, evil eye wishing harm on you and fear. <laughs> What's falsely? The long distance relationship and relocation. Yeah, for some of you, your person is moving near you and that's just what the fuck it is. It said, it's not your business if I decide to date outside my race. So this could be a, a, a very unconventional relationship. This could be interracial. Keep seeing this car with health problems. I feel like y'all bitches need to mind your business. If you got health problems, I feel like that's what the fuck you need to be focusing on and not nobody else's, whatever the else they going to do. Y'all do too much. <laughs> like, real shit. Y'all dead and y'all do too much. Motherfuckers need to mind their business. It should be no reason why somebody raggedy ass ex that they probably ain't been with for years, or even if they did get out the relationship, bitch, somebody been trying to get away from somebody's ass and they ran across a divine feminine. And you bitches got mad and started fucking gossiping, spying, stalking, getting your raggedy ass, old ass mama involved with their damn health problems that look like they need to be fixed, or this is you, bitch. That's what y'all need to be focused on. Doing all this black ass magic. The reason why some of y'all got health problems is because the shit is backfiring. What the fuck? Oh, give me a, give me like four cars here. <laughs> Your ancestry. Third eye blind. Exactly. Child. What else? Too many hats. Cry for the moon and pull yourself together. Bottom of the deck is on, on your own. Yeah, period. It's better on your own anyway. You ain't got nobody in your fucking business. Where are my, uh, oh, my books? What's this? Okay, it's not in this book. So it says, your ancestry is all relative. Hmm. Generations that have come before you, the people who formed your traditions, your structures, your foundations, these are your roots, past stories, and the very soul of your family tree. It is a good thing to remember them, sit in silence, and reconnect with them. There is a lost wisdom within them, a sort of deep familial magic. If you will, they are your family's myths and archetypes. Sometimes you can get so caught up with what is new and exciting, you forget all that came before you. Maybe you have a love, maybe you have a love of music, art, math, or some other natural gift, and you do not know where it came from. Chances are, somewhere back in your ancestry, someone was gifted in the same way you are. Give thanks for this and hold dear the traditions and roots that were created as if by magic by those who came before you. Yeah, somebody here didn't want this masculine to know that they were fucking gifted so they can keep using them for their money and shit like that. That's these kind of hoes. <laughs> I just, I don't know, y'all. That's why I can't stand bitches. <laughs> I really do not like hoes. I can't stand their ass. 
But it said, I don't see, I don't see with a third eye. Oh, baby, open that eye. It really allows you to see through all the bullshit. Stop ignoring your instincts, your intuition and insight. Scared that it was just wishful thinking? Open that third eye and you will be surprised at all the foresight you have within you. That gut feeling is your true north telling you to stop being blind. We have been so conditioned that there are only five senses, but look at animals hearing things. We cannot see, we cannot or see. What? We have been so conditioned that there are only five senses, but look at animals hearing things we cannot or seeing things we don't. We believe that the reason you are closed off is because it is all relative to your experiences. Yeah, it goes back to the ancestry card. If you can't see it tangibly, then how could it be there? Try some simple meditation to help you relax and get your inner eyesight back. Yeah. Too many hats. I love me a good hat and look at you. Wow, you sure look good in a hat or 12. <laughs> you know, though, this doesn't mean you have to wear all the hats all the time. We know that so much is expected of us, sometimes to be all things to all people. We are given so much responsibility in so many aspects of our lives that we are suffering from horrendous hat hair. Oh, and also it will lead you to spreading yourself too thin and being burnt out. We are asking you today to recognize that you are bogged down with too many hats and hang some or even one on the hat rack. Run your fingers through your hair and feel that weight lifted. Yeah, this person here try to... This, I swear, these hoes, man, they try to keep this masculine stuck to them so that way they can take care of them. That's what the fuck they did. That's what they did. What a fucking shame. Cry for the moon. Have you heard the moon can make you do crazy things? True fact. Have you ever wanted something so bad that you would plead or barter your soul? A need so strong that you would almost give up who you are? What have you allowed to have that much power over you? Sometimes when something we want is out of reach or impossible, it is for a good reason. It's not that we don't deserve it or that we aren't worthy of the things we want. It is often that the universe has to make room for something even better in our lives. Something that maybe we don't even realize we need. Yep. Mm. 41, pull yourself together. Oh, Mary, you are hot. A hot mess, that is. <laughs> your emotions are all over the place, and I'm not talking about your prolific use of emojis. Take some time today to ground yourself in meditation or deep breathing. A whole is only as strong as its parts, and right now your emotional team has run amok. Pieces of you left in the ether? Let us just pluck them up and start piecing yourself together. When you are not whole, how can you give yourself to something or someone? Do you feel pulled in many directions and never enough to fulfill it at all? I mean, to fill it all, take a moment, press pause and connect with yourself and with your inner spirit. When you find your center, you will realize that you can pull yourself together. Do the work because it is time to get yourself together. Yeah, man. <clears throat> like... That's his spirit. <laughs> Down low. What the fuck? Whatever. So, this was your reading, Leo. I hope that it resonated for you. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.